Hello friends, how are you? In this video, we will learn about shadow and reflection. So let's go. What is a shadow? A shadow is created when an opaque material or object is placed in front of a light source and prevents the light from passing through. It creates a dark area or a shape on a surface as a result. Here, we can see that a shadow is created when a light source falls on a ball, it creates a dark area or a shape on a surface. Shadow cannot be created when a light falls on a transparent object like air, water, glass, etc. These objects allow light to pass through it. Here, we can see that light can easily transfer through water bubbles. As water bubbles are transparent, a shadow is a dark area on a bright surface. It is caused by something blocking a light source. A shadow outline, called a silhouette, will have the same shape as the object blocking the light. When you walk slowly, your shadow follows you slowly. When you walk fast, your shadow follows you fast. Changing Shadows Shadow can change depending on the position of the light source. Here, we can see that as sun changes its position in the morning, afternoon, and evening, shadow also changes its position and size. Parts of the day Shadows are of different sizes at different times of the day. In the morning and evening, the shadow is long, but in the afternoon, the shadow is short. If you go out in the sun, you will see a dark structure similar to your body formed on the ground. This dark structure is called a shadow. So let's see how it works. In this picture, a shadow is longest in the early morning. When the light source is on one side of the tree, the shadow will appear on the opposite side. In the afternoon, when the sun is directly above the tree, there is a little or no shadow because the light from the sun is falling upon the tree from all the sides and there is hardly any dark region. In this picture, shadow is longest in the late afternoon, that means in the evening time. And again, the shadow will appear on the opposite side. Shadow does not appear at night without artificial light source. Now, from above observations, we can divide the day into four different parts, which don't tell us the exact time Instead they refer to an interval of time of the day. The closer to light source an object is, the bigger the shadow will be. This is because the object blocks more of the light. The further away from the light source an object is, the smaller the shadow will be. This is because the object blocks less of the light. When the light source moves, the shadow will change. When the light source is directly above the object, the shadow will be directly underneath. So, in this video, we see that, as the light source changes its position, shadow also changes its position and size, which divides the day into four different time intervals. If you like this video, Please subscribe our channel.